Hello! It's the holiday enthusiast coming at you to teach you how to make yourself into a uh, kitty cat. Um, so this one, again, I use the Snazaroo paint. I made these ears. You can check out my blog for instructions on how to make your very own cat ears. Quick and easy and simple. I bought these at Target in the costume accessories section. They were like all of $3. And um, I have accessorized myself in a blue cat outfit and made a tail for myself. Um, I've got on some blue pants. And now I'm ready. Meow. 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 All right, so you're going to begin by shading the white portion of your face, your T-zone, and then down around your mouth what will become your snout. Um, the white shadowing will also go on your chin. Um, make sure that you get a little tiny bit under your eyes and that'll just be kind of a highlighter. I'm taking that sponge that comes with that Snazaroo paint again. My theme for my cat was a blue cat so I went ahead and did the shadowing around my face, um, the edges of my face and in between my cheek on my cheekbones with the blue. I wanted kind of a turquoise look so I go back over that with the green and then I try to blend the white and the blue together um, on the edges. This is just the base color of your cat face. So, you know, your traditional color would be probably a black or a brown. Um, but I wanted that turquoise so that it would match the rest of my outfit. Um, I then went in and darkened up that white to make it more of an opaque white. In around my T-zone and around my snout. So once more, I highlight beneath my eyes in order to give it that highlighter appearance under my eyes and then again over my snout. The next step is the detailing. So you take your paintbrush and your black Snazaroo paint and you start in on the nose. Um, this nose is very similar to noses we've done this week. Uh, and then you take that line down the center of your lips to create that cat-like mouth appearance. So I filled it in nice and opaque. I made sure that it was where I wanted it to be and nice and blended. That's what I just did with that sponge and I filled that in. I went ahead and put some red lipstick on because I wanted a regular sort of lip and then I outlined my lips with the black, so kind of a black lip liner. Um, and then I did some shadowing in order to blend the two colors together ever so slightly. Taking a pointier brush, I went ahead and went in and drew the dots on the snout um, where the whisker origins would happen. This is just your basic Snazaroo paintbrush again. And then I go in and I do my eyebrows. So I wanted kind of a hairy, wispy look on the eyebrows. So I just stroked upward so that it gave that appearance. Then comes time for the detailing. I was going for a cheetah print or a jaguar sort of look. So I was drawing kind of triangles or like a bird shape with the paintbrush or like a loose kind of square circle. Um, and I kind of just did it in a pattern. I just filled it in nice and random. Um, you'll see that most of those shapes are triangular. Um, I went across one whole side of my face and then the intention was just to do part of around my eye, but I decided to go ahead and fill it in a little bit more. So I did it around the other eye and down my cheek. Um, you know, you can play with this and do it however you'd like, but uh, just go ahead and fill that spot spotting in. I did some wispies down around my chin for that actual furry cat look and then I went back over my eyebrows and filled in around my eye so that it completely um, encompassed one of my eyes. Then going in with eyeshadow I did a highlighter on the inside of my lid and then taking a bluish blackish color that I have I filled in my eyelids for a more dramatic appearance. Um, then taking the Snazaroo paint, I went ahead and did the eyeliner. And I did that cat shape um, that the Egyptians were so infamous for around on the top of my eyes and on the bottom. And then later, uh, I went in and did some more detailing on my eyelid and put the wispies around the top of my face. I then went ahead and added some lashes and some mascara. I hope you are a perfect kitty cat. Um, 
So I have taken in here and I've added my eyelashes. I kind of messed up my eyeliner as I was doing that. Um, and I added these rhinestones because I just wanted a little bit more blue to try to incorporate the blue. Um, let me take a cat ear out. So I also used this Nazaru paint to touch up the white fur that I found at the store. Um, it just came in a big square and then I added the pink felt right for the inside of the ears and my hot glue gun did the trick. Arr. So, uh, anyway, hope you have a wonderful day and thanks for joining me again. Arr. Be sure to click subscribe down below and like our video and we appreciate your time. Hope you have a wonderful day.